I've been saying for ages that mocks are really important and if you've watched any of my other D Year 12 videos I've basically been telling you to revise since you started Year 12 to show the teachers what you're capable of. Um, but I think you might be the first year group who actually might start to believe me and then um, change behaviours to work hard the whole way through because the year 13s and the year 11s are being given grades based on teacher judgments. Um, this is going to be based on predicted grades and mock data and how well they're doing class and I know loads of examples where people have surprised me in the actual exam because that is not how they worked in school. Now the particular problem for the year 13s is that universities generally offer more places than they actually have but if everyone now gets given their predicted grades um, and the offers are made on predicted grades, the university is now oversubscribed. Um, there has been no extra information given to us about how this teacher judgment is going to be taken into account or what universities are going to do. Um, if you want more specific information about what is happening to the year 13s or the year 11s, go and watch these videos. But this video is about what I can do for you at this time as a year 12 student. Now, you are going to find the next few months hard. And I do mean the next few months. Um, I don't think we will be going back to school after Easter. Um, is either going to be May half term or September, or it might just be any other time in between those points, but I realistically do not think it is going to be um, after Easter. So you're going to be starting year 13 having taught yourself a term's worth of content. Um, and that is a bit where I can actually be really helpful. So I'm going to be focusing on when I'm not homeschooling, suddenly homeschooling a five-year-old and a two-year-old. Oh, I would never be a primary teacher. Anyway, um, when I am not um, being mummy teacher, um, I am going to be making videos. Now, I'm not going to be doing live stream videos um, because... I don't want it just to be a case of, oh, I'm on the internet just for the sake of being on the internet. My pre-recorded videos are much better than my live stream videos. Um, because I can edit them for mistakes, I can edit them for sound, I can, like, go back and correct things if I've made a mistake. Whereas a live video, I can't do that. And you might see me make a mistake that, you know, sometimes I call a proton and electron and I literally don't even realise. Um, sometimes, you know, I make mistakes and I don't even think that I've done it or realised that I've done it but when I go back and watch the video I was kind of like oh that, that's actually like a really big mistake I need to correct that so my pre-recorded videos are much better than my live videos so I'm not going to be doing live videos I'm going to be doing more pre-recorded videos and just try and get as much stuff off as I can as quickly as I can for you um, that is going to be covering A-level maths, A-level biology and A-level chemistry um, potentially um, one of the other teachers that work for me will be doing A level history as well, um, maybe. Now to go with those, there were other courses over on my website. I wasn't planning on launching these until um, September really, but um, A level uh, chemistry is up there now, A level math is going up there as quickly as I can. And what I'm going to do each week, each day, is put out a little like suggested lesson. So for an hour, go and watch this video and then go and do these questions and then go and do the multiple choice questions on my website. Now the multiple choice questions on my website, it's a course, a year's access to £25, but because there is no exam season, my entire earnings for this year have been completely wiped out. So everything is going to be 50% off the, the A-level courses on my website. And if you wanted to sign up now, then you would have access for a year from when you signed up. Um, and you can also get a head start on year 13 work. So, um, yeah, if you're planning on signing up to the course in year 13, it's now half price. In terms of not going completely insane, being stuck in the house with however many people live in your house and you may like them and you may not like them, um, it could be for 
a significant period of time that we are asked to stay inside the house. I know we've done really bad planning and we've run out of bread and flour already. Um, considering the amount of baking that I do, I literally can't believe I've really run out of flour. And there's obviously none in the shops. Anyway, that's not really your concern. Um, try and stick to your school timetable. Try and get out of bed every morning and have a shower. Get dressed. Do your hair. Put some makeup on. Do the things that make you feel better. Even if there is nobody around to see it, those little acts of normality will make you feel a little bit better about being stuck inside the house. Um, because if we are stuck in for the next one month, two months, three months, spending the entire time lazing around in your pyjamas and occasionally doing a little bit of work is not going to be good for your mental health, is also not going to be good for your grades when we get back to school because we will eventually be going back to school and this isn't just a prolonged holiday you do need to be keeping up with the work so like I said I'm gonna be putting out daily lessons watch this video do this question do this set of questions go and do these exam questions um I will be like on Twitter Twitter's the best place to ask me a question okay Instagram isn't as responsive, I find. Twitter, I generally have open the whole time. So if you want to ask me a question, just like, you know, what's your question for this? Can you point me towards the video for this? Twitter is honestly the best place to get hold of me. Um, I generally have that open the whole time, assuming that I'm not um, trying to get my five-year-old to write his letters the right way around and his numbers the right way around. It is going to be an interesting few months. Anyway guys, I am going to be here with you the whole time because I'm not going anywhere and the year 13s and the year 11s aren't distracting me.